Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 mistakes that players make when doing drills. Now, you cannot even turn on YouTube these days without seeing someone anywhere from a beginner player trying to start a YouTube channel to a pro showing you a new drill or an old drill. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the problems that people run into when doing drills and we'll get down to the number one item which you probably are going to be surprised by. Number 10, not doing drills at all. You only improve your pool game through deliberate practice. Let me repeat that. You only improve at anything through deliberate practice. If you are not doing drills, there's a very good chance you're not improving at a rapid pace. Number nine, not sticking to your objective. When you come to the table to do drills, keep in mind why you're there. What are you trying to get better at? Stay focused on that item. Number eight, rushing. If you are not going through your entire pre-shot routine, chalking up, getting down on the shot, following through, watching the ball go in, you might as well forget the drills. If you're going to rush through the shots, you're not getting in the proper practice. Number seven, bad form. This is related to rushing. A lot of times players just want to get through the drill. So they do whatever they can to shoot the drill quicker. It's like rushing through your homework. You don't want to be there. You don't want to do it. So you're just doing it as fast as you can. Take your time. Go through the drill. Shoot every shot as if it is life or death. Because in pool, one miss is all you need to lose a match if you're playing decent players. Number six, doing drills that are unrelated to your game. A lot of the drills you see on YouTube were designed 50, 60 years ago by straight pool players for straight pool players. And you see them on YouTube and you're like, oh, that looks interesting. I think I'll do that drill. Well, if the drill does not relate to your game, then you are wasting your time. Make sure you're doing drills that relate to the game that you're playing. Number five, when you have balls lined up like the line drill that you see here and you miss, do not start all over again. There are a number of pros that are telling you when you miss, you've got to start over again. If you don't finish the drill, you have to set them up again. Really, extremely, incredibly bad advice. What this does is it puts you in a situation where you never get to learn certain shots that are taught during the drill. If you miss the first two shots in the L drill, as an example, you never learn to make those last five balls that come up in the L drill, which require a totally different set of skills. Just take ball in hand after a miss. Put the missed ball back in place and go from where you are. The idea of starting over because you miss was developed by pool coaches to create stressful situations for their players when doing drills. For their professional players, that is not your drill. Do not start over again. Big mistake. Very easily could have been number one on this list. Number four, not tracking your progress. Keep records. If you're doing the semicircle drill or the line drill and you have four misses during that process, write it down. Give yourself a goal to beat your best score. Keep track of it so you know that you're getting better or not getting better. A lot of players have short-term memory loss when it comes to their improvement. You need to write it down. Don't just say, I think my best score was this or that. Write down what your score was. Number three, doing drills that are too easy. Everybody wants to get through the drill, so they're doing drills that are so simple. I've gone in a pool hall and I saw a player just lining up six balls in front of the pockets and just shooting them in, pocket hangers. He's practicing his pocket hangers. Come on now. That's a superior waste of time at the pool table. Number two, drills that are too difficult. There is actually science behind this. When your objective is about 4% more difficult than where you are right now, you are at a level 
that is high enough to give you something to reach for, but not so high as to become frustrating. If the drill is too difficult for you to perform, take ball in hand, make the shot shorter. Do not drive yourself nuts trying to do drills that you see professionals do on screen. I've seen some of the best players on the planet doing drills and talking to their audience as if you should be able to do the drill. No, there's a bunch of professionals that can't pull off some of the drills that you see on YouTube. So be careful about that. And the number one mistake that players make when doing drills is they think that there's something magical about the drills they see us lay out. These were invented by human beings for other human beings. You can invent your own drills. The secret formula is that the drill should include items that you want to improve at and should be just slightly out of your reach as far as completing the drill. Remember that 4% rule. Thanks for watching guys. Hit us in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. You're missing a lot of videos and about 70% of you aren't subscribers, but you're watching every week. So hit the subscribe button. It's good for the channel. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.